Madam Speaker, I come to this side of the aisle as a proud Republican, but most importantly, as a proud American. Today we saw an assault on our democracy. I love this institution. I love the United States Congress. And I love the United States of America. And what I saw today was mob rule that spat upon the blood of my father that is in the soil of Europe and in the soil of Korea. And who gave us, through that blood, this sacred constitution and the sacred ability to lead this world as a power that says, we settle our differences not with mob rule, we settle our differences through elections. And when those elections are over, we have a peaceful transition of power. Now make no mistake to my colleagues on the Democratic side of the aisle, I will be passionate in my disagreement with you. I will be passionate in my ideas for the future of this country. And I will fight for my Republican ideas that I hear, hold near and dear. But I will stand with you tonight and send a message to the nation and all Americans that what we saw today was not American. And what we see tonight in this body shall be what we do in America. And that is to transfer power in a peaceful way. And with that, I yield to my best friend in Congress and a Democrat, Josh Gottheimer, my co-chair of the Problem Solvers Caucus. I think. Um, so I thank my friend for yielding and for standing with me and with all of us. Tom Reed is my co-chair of the Problem Solvers Caucus. He's a Republican and I'm a Democrat. When it comes to policy views, we often disagree, but at the end of the day, we are united as Americans. My good friend like me always puts country first. Today, a group of lawless thugs sought to upend the Constitution and the peaceful transition of power because they didn't like the outcome of the presidential election. So they tried to nullify it using improvised explosives, shattering windows, breaking down doors, injuring law enforcement, and even tearing down the American flag that rises above this beacon of democracy. But their attempt to obstruct democracy failed. Their insurrection was foiled. The American people and the greatest democracy the world has ever known won. Abraham Lincoln, who served in this very body, famously said, a house divided against itself cannot stand. That's why, for the sake of this country, we must stand together, united, and celebrate a peaceful transition of power. In 14 days, President-elect Biden will be sworn in, and despite all of our differences, I have faith that for the American people, we will come together. Democrats and Republicans committed to unity, civility, and truth. We will recognize our higher purpose to help America through these dark days. That is the only way we will beat COVID, rebuild our economy, and stand up to threats at home and abroad. Working together as Democrats and Republicans, I know our best days will always be ahead of us. I yield back. Madam Speaker, I encourage my colleagues to always search their conscience and their souls. And I respect my Republican colleagues and my Democratic colleagues. But today, let us pause and remember what happened here today. Let us pause that our tenure in this Congress will far surpass the time that we stay here. And that will let us pass and cast our votes today, recognizing that what we do here today will set the course of this institution for years to come. And this institution, Madam Speaker, shall not fail, because the United States of America shall forever be the beacon of hope, the inspiration to all, and may God bless our great country. I yield back. Thank you. Thank you.